Quickly, I just want to share something with us. Thank you, precious Jesus. I just want to share something with us. And after then, we move to the next section of prayers. Are you glad to be in church this morning? John chapter 14, 16, quickly. John 15, 16, I read. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name. That is the first tool that the Lord God has given to the church for prayer answers is his name. Somebody say the name. What name? The name Jesus. He said, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name. The word whatsoever means anything. That is anything you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. That is, as a Christian, you have the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is for you, it's not against you. The name of Jesus is to work for your advantage, not for your disadvantage. That is the first thing that a Christian has is the name. He said, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Now let's diagonize a little bit. How potent is the name? How powerful is this name Jesus? The name of Jesus is so powerful that it has a supremacy and authority in the three realms. We have the heaven. We have the earth. We have the hell. Now the heavens is also divided into three parts. You have the first heaven. You have the second heaven and you have the third heaven. Now when he said, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every niche worth. Now, if he said he has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that include heaven. He stated it is saying in heaven, on earth, and on earth. On hell talks about beneath the earth. Praise the Lord. There are forces of darkness that are in heavenly places. Don't forget, heaven is divided into how many parts? Three. The first heaven is the atmosphere you see. You can see the first heaven. The second heaven is beyond the cloud. You can see it. That's where some of the fallen angels stays. The third heaven is the heaven that God dwells. That's the throne of heaven. Praise the Lord. Now, the first weapon that God gave to his church is his name. Somebody say his name. Say it louder. That is the day you gave your life to Christ. You have license to use the name in prayers. He said, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. That is, as a Christian, you are no more disadvantaged. You are on the advantage side because you have the name to your use. You can wake up at night and say, in the name of Jesus, and something must happen. Every time you call the name, you know it or not, something takes place. That is, the first weapon that God has given to us as his Christian, as his children, is the name of Jesus. Now, let's go deeper in the name. Look at me, everyone. The name of Jesus. If you read the Bible, it didn't say you will pray through the name. It said whatsoever you ask the Father. We pray in the name, not through the name. You pray where? 
There's difference between in the name and through the name or by the name. You don't pray by the name. You don't pray through the name. You pray in the name. You pray where? In the name. Now, what does that mean? When you are inside the car and you are coming to a location, what do they see first? Before they see what? You. Now, when you are praying in the name of Jesus, the Father does not see you. Who he sees is Jesus. See, that alone should set to your answers to prayers. Because if you don't know this now, when we are praying, now you think we are just doing something. When you come to the Father in the name of Jesus, the Father does not consider you. He considers Jesus. Let me explain better. If you have a president as your uncle or your dad and you are trusting God for a job at Chevron or in Chevron or NMPC or any of these places and the president has signed his signature on a card, his card. Look up. When you go to the office and present the signature, the card to the person in charge, do you know what the person will do? The complimentary card you are presenting naturally changes your status. The same respect the person will give to the president, that same respect he will give to you. Automatically, the person begins to call you your excellency, sir. Why? You came with a card of a man. That card automatically makes you the same rank of that man. The man will not give you the job because of your qualification. He will give you the job because of the card. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is when we pray in the name of Jesus. Demons don't respect you but they respect the name. I'm not taking much time. Situations might not respect Ken. But once Ken comes in the name of Jesus, every devil must bow. Am I talking to somebody here? That is, you must understand what we have in the name. Somebody said we have the name. Say it louder. That is when you are praying for sickness. The sickness will not live because of you. The sickness will live because there is a check you are presenting. There is a card you are presenting. And that card carries the name of the supreme being. Am I talking to somebody here? And what name is that? Shout it very well. Jesus. Shout it very well. Jesus. You see, there's a song that goes down said, Oh, there is a suvarere. O dena ova revogaga e dese O dere Jesu vare o dena O dena ova revogaga o e dese We dese We dese Bless your name, Jesus. You see, that name is so powerful that no devil in hell can stand that potency in the name. That is when we are screaming in the name of Jesus. It's not a religious anthem. It's not a conjunction in prayers. We are entering a vehicle to collect our delivery. When you say in the name of Jesus, you are presenting a complimentary card of the highest CEO in the world. You are presenting a complimentary card of the highest president in the world. Am I talking to church here? That is, as a Christian, you have the name. 
use it. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name. It's not limited to some things. Marriage is there. Job is there. Long life is there. Whatsoever. Somebody say whatsoever. That is number one, you have the name. Two, another weapon God has given to the church is what we call the blood. The blood. You have the name. You have the blood of Jesus. See, these are weapons of battles. You see? The devil, Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. Put it on the screen. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. We will read it together and we pray right now. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. Let's read it as a church. One to go. Colossians 2 15. One to go. And having spoiled principalities and powers. Now listen. Principalities and powers are ranks. Having spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them. What? Is it secretly? Talk to me, church. I'll be alive. What? Continue. Triumphing over them in it. Now listen. When you plead the blood of Jesus, you are remembering the devil of his open defeat. And the devil is a proud fool. He don't want to be remembered his defeat. We said, you see, he didn't spoil principalities and power by flesh. He spoiled it by his blood. It was the blood that was shed for the remission of the sin of man. It's not your blood. No witch can stand the blood. The blood of Jesus. Do you know why? The blood of Jesus is the life giver. You use the name, but the blood has multi-purpose use. You can drink the blood. You can sprinkle the blood. And you can plead it. And you drink it by faith. I drink the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. And you can sprinkle the blood of Jesus. See, listen. If your spiritual nose is blocked, you are doomed. There's all called spiritual eyes. There's all called spiritual ears. There's all called spiritual nose. Sometimes you go to an environment, the place is polluted spiritually. There are some people's destiny that have been polluted. People don't help them. When people just wake up and suddenly dislike you, there's something they are perceiving. What you do, you see, you bleed the blood of Jesus over your life. You are going for contract. Don't go like a normal man. You see, I told you before. That's why we're praying. Christianity is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Life is what? There are some young ladies that can just put order, wrong order in your body. Instead of guys to see as a beautiful girl, they are seeing you as a man. Macho man. That's why your spiritual eyes need to be open. And that's the section of prayer we're praying. Your spiritual ears need to be open. And your spiritual perception. Can I shock you? Everything you have physically, you have it spiritually. You need to be awake. You need to be awake. When people don't come for meetings like this, it grips my heart. You need to be awake. Your destiny will not just fall and you take it. There are powers that you need to subdue by this weapon. The blood of Jesus, you devil from here, get out here. When it's when see. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. When you call the name, the name go before you go. When you call the blood, the blood goes before you go. That is anything that can't stand the blood can't stand you. Now what these two things does is that they go to clear the road and you pass as if the devil is not existing. Am I talking to somebody here? You must understand these things. You are entering your office or your company, the blood of Jesus. There are people that shake people with charm. They will shake you just be dying small small. You think no sickness is normal. It is natural to rise and fall. It is natural to fall sick sometimes. It is natural to have disappointment. Eh? 
That is why to be natural is to be on the floor. But it is spiritual to rise above the natural law. Am I speaking to somebody here? That's why the Bible says when men are saying they say cast it down. We. That is he didn't liken us to men. He said we. We. There is a realm you are prayed from. And that's the realm of the blood and the name. Am I talking to somebody here? Another weapon he has given us is the Holy Ghost. You have the name. You have the blood. And you have the Holy Ghost. Alukwatana. See, before I talk about the Holy Ghost. See, listen. You know, the children of Israel were in bondage for 400. How many years? 30 years. Sir. They did everything. They begged Pharaoh. Begging does not free any man. It is the blood that frees people. See, am I talking to somebody here? See, in the realm of the spirit, the highest form of authority is blood authority. The night that the children of Israel placed the blood on their litten, do you know what Pharaoh did? Pharaoh was begging them to go. Say, go. Go. That Pharaoh in your father's house will release you until you plead the blood. Once they see blood, they say, go. They begin to beg you, go. Go. There are people which is afraid of. Am I talking to somebody here? And these are the understanding. You can sprinkle the blood in your business place. You can sprinkle the blood on your complimentary car. You can sprinkle the blood on your car. If you don't do that, the car will just be collecting money from your hand. You will not be asked, is this how people use car? No! Anything you sprinkle the blood on, you have put a seal of touch off. Am I speaking to church here? See, the reason I'm saying this is so that we can have results. The blood of Jesus. Let me share this. I might not touch about the Holy Ghost today because it's going to take some time. Let me share this and we pray. A young girl was to travel with a crate of eggs from a long distance. The mother now said, Come, let me cover you with the blood. The young girl now said, Cover the eggs at the back with the blood, not me. Cover the eggs. The mother now jokingly said, okay, the eggs are covered with the blood. On their highway, the car had accident. None of the eggs broke. The girl died. Life is spiritual, sir. When you talk to people, be spiritually conscious. Life is spiritual. It's not everybody that likes you. See, it's not everybody that likes you. Smile does not equal like. Am I talking to somebody here? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know red. 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 Begon. Atapia. Pia. No, Atapia. Pia. They're spraying of Atapia pia now. When you spray it in your house, before you come back, what will happen on the ground? They will drop. When you stand up and say, the blood of Jesus, they drop. They drop. These things should be in you. No devil should make you not to get married. I command this chain to be broken. No devil should make you not to prosper. No devil from here should make you not to carry your children. Kalusha. He made the show of them openly. Triumphing over them in it. The devil knows this thing I'm sharing with you. Now listen. Because you called it once. does not Because you called it once. And you didn't see stand result. That does not mean that something did happen. Keep calling. Because the problem didn't just come by one calling. Do you know how many years they have been serving in that altar that have been following your problem? You think just one calling with it. You keep calling it. Every day I declare over my life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against me in judgment, they are dead. And I say it this morning again, anyone that thinks evil of me, they die a strange death. If you are not among them, you say amen for me. Rise up on your faith. Did you learn something this morning? Will you apply it?